Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine. So really quick, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this look here, really simple. I make this wig, I use a hot glue gun, a mesh cap, and pretty much easy as you can go. I got some hair from Sensational. It is their newest line of Virgin Remy hair. It is called Cello. It's a luxurious 100% Remy human hair. And I got two packs. So this unit you see here is just two packs of 14 inches. So this hair claims to be shed free, tangle free. The color is a 1B. I'm not sure if they have different textures, but I did curl this hair using a big curling iron like this one. As I curled it, I had to use a lot of hairspray. This is by Redken, the Control Addict 28. I had to use some type of hairspray to keep the curls from falling. It's holding it for right now, but we'll see at the end of the day. I did notice that the curls were dropping as um, I was curling them. I haven't really worn this hair a lot, so I can't tell you like, oh, I love it or oh, I don't like it. But just from feeling the hair itself, it's really soft. It has a lot of texture to it, so it reminds me of a Yankee texture. I use both packs of the um, 14 inches. I did run a little short, so you really had to, I really had to make it work with this unit because you know when you do a wig, you use a lot more hair. You guys, if you have any questions, always leave them below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so much. Mwah. Bye. Alright you guys, so depending on what your preference is, I personally like to use a grocery bag as my protectant just because when you peel it off after the hair, after the glue has dried, it just isn't as messy as a plastic cap. So the hair we're going to be using is Cello by Sensational. This is their luxurious Remy Human Hair. I got two packs of the 14 inch in a color 1B. And basically we're just going to start from the back and work our way up I'm using a hot glue gun this is just one that you can get from uh, Walmart and I have the mini gun and I use the mini glue sticks to go along with it couple of ways that you can apply the weft to the cap with this hot glue sometimes I like to apply it directly on the track as if you were doing a normal traditional you know wig with glue and sometimes most of the time I like to apply it in a up and down motion as you can see here that way it helps lock in that track you have glue kind of seeping out on top of it which really locks in the which really locks in the weft is what I'm saying so you can do it that way or you can apply it as normal like you can see here I like to do it like that but especially on the ends where the hair is going to lift up the quickest I like to do the up and down motion so that the track does not move and it stays put Because I only have two packs of this cello hair, I had to really be careful with my spacing. So I did spacing in the back and once I got to the top, I wanted to make sure that I had enough of hair. So right here, you guys, is all one pack of hair because once you start to do your circle for your bang, your full units, it is definitely going to take up a lot of hair. So just be really careful. Now 
we're going to start to circle the unit we're going to start to close it so like I was saying before this going this is going to take up a lot of hair you guys and you don't want a lot of space at the top of your unit because it's, it's going to look funny so in a circular motion we're just going to take the hair and keep going around but before I do that I have to find the center point of the head so I'm just taking a makeup pencil and just finding the center point of the head so that um, I know where to close it. Love's got that taste To say it now feels good on my tongue Fear does horrible things Good hearts, good lives, I like and some So never make it out alive Alright, so I like to use the tip of my index finger as a guide onto how small I want the hole to be. That way when it comes to closing it, I know how much hair to use. So it's almost there. Um, right here is basically how small I can get it. This is a staple now. Y'all know, you gotta use that bonding glue for your closure. Basically, I apply it on there really thin, let it get a little tacky, then you're gonna roll it up tight like a cinnamon, like, like a fruit roll up. I'm just gonna roll it up real tight. And then you're gonna take a flat iron and flatten it out. As you flatten it out, you're gonna take your glue Put it in that hole there, and then you're gonna plop it right on top, just like that. Really easy. Oh, the taste of just one kiss. I will jump at my own risk. Fear does not rule over my heart. Love is not sure, but worth every. Now I'm taking the easy way out, you guys. I'm using my clippers to give me that blunt cut. Um, bend it a little bit with the flat iron I don't like really bulky bangs so I'm gonna go in with my thinning shears and thin it out add some curls to it and boom honey you finished I did use all of the hair I had no hair left so I didn't even have enough of hair to kind of go in and fill in in the back like at the bottom but truthfully I mean put some curls in it and just go it's it's great this hair is just it's great so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the information below and I will see you guys in the next. Bye.